Hello there. I'm super fucking late. <laughs> Come Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming. I'm here now. The <laughs> first time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so late. In and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense. I completely drama, just lost track of time. Is what happens. Every corner. It's my bad. I apologize. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. <laughs> in one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a well on the bright side a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. The smash announcement was not that important to me. But that's not the only on the bright side. Crack. Famicom Detective Club? In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Why is late? it called the Famicom? Detective Club. This is definitely the type of game I would play. It's a little spooky, too. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Air. That looks really interesting. Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Is this Total War? Fuck off, is this Fire Emblem China? <laughs> no! It's... I... It's Japan... People... It's Japan people. Oh, Samurai Warriors! I don't know why, why that didn't, like, hit me really quickly that it was Samurai Warriors. I saw the end of the Smash announcement, though. I'll have to rewatch it. Samurai Warriors franchise is but I'm here for the stuff I really Switch. care about, so that's what matters. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda. You guys can hear me, right? I'm not like completely silent on stream. I'm hoping. Visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying one versus one thousand battles. In Samurai Warriors Five. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Cool. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. What? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Secret of Mana? You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. I have not played this game, but I've heard a lot about it. Before discovering the world map, is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. That's actually really interesting. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. But it's kind of just like a... Join it's just an out-of-order level select. Their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. The stream yesterday was cancelled. Something happened. Rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this YouTube was being very funky yesterday and being very funky today. I had a lot of pro like trouble even getting the test stream for this up. Including the ability to turn off enemy encounters as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. Legends of Mana. Launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Show me some announcements I I can get down. Oh. Here we go. Here's something I really care about. Was that Gra that was Graviros? Gravios. I don't know how to say his name properly. <gasps> Nursilla. I mean, we knew Nursilla was in it because uh, wait, that's not Nursilla. What the hell is that? I thought that was Nursilla for a second, but it's like some something in the family of Nursilla. Oh, there he is. I haven't fought that dude in so long. Fulvidian. I missed him. Oh, that is so cool! 
<laughs> that wire bug move. Whoa. It's a mud puppy. That is sick. It is like fighting a Baryeth on crack. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura village was attacked by the rampage. Why does the elder look almost the exact same as the guy from World? Devastating casualties. How can we fight against them? Looks like he's like Far East cousin. Oh, I love the Mitsuzune set. Hold the line. Oh, that. Rajang confirmed. The starting roster for this game seems like it's going to be absolutely huge. Well, it seems like it's going to be gargantuan. How long do you think it's going to last? Monster Hunter Rise. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. Wait, they're playable? Hold on. Does that mean instead of taking a dog or a cat, I could take the twins instead? That would be kind of rad, honestly. Having NPC hunters you can bring with you? I kind of like that idea. For Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Badly, they're just getting knocked on their asses over. In the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Oh, it's so close. Next, it's so close. Please take a look at this. Mario Golf. The fairway is open once again. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series. If you think you're late, I missed the entire Smash announcement. Study the wind and terrain. I caught the fair end of it. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. I've never really been in the golf games, but I'm sure this will sell because Mario, shots. like right? In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. Woohoo! Letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. The sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Did Luigi just do some Yuri on ice <laughs> shit? <laughs> I saw that. You'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. Luigi Yuri on ice crossover. Come out on top. Your golfing. I ironically really like Yuri on ice. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats. Oh, they have an RPG mode. Your character, however you'd like. I don't know how I feel about like non-RPG games adding stats to them. Because I like RPGs, don't get me wrong. I'll grind eternally if necessary. Like I love the the grind for it but you know the latest game in the mario golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls once again i just didn't grow up with mario games so i've actually never played a single mario game in my life Minus like the original Super Mario Brothers, and I only played it for like a Check brief bit. Games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, come on. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Wait. 
play as the Hyperion I know a lot of people might not be excited for this. But if this means they're continuing Tales from the Borderlands, I'm actually excited. I am actually excited. This game is hilariously written. But unfortunately, I only got a part one. I highly recommend this as Telltale's best game. Even though they haven't continued it, and even if you're not a Borderlands fan, play Tales from the Borderlands. It is hilarious. It is probably the funniest game I've ever played. Adjust game speed or difficulty and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 I like the song. Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is all Street Fighter 2. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade's Commando Strider today. Dynasty War? Wow, I never knew what the older hey, Dynasty hey, Warriors hey, games looked like. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. This, uh... Your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and doesn't look very fish. good. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie and rebel without... Oh my god, the frame rate. March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh lord. That looks like it barely runs on the Switch. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? <gasps> oh, I gotta finish No More Heroes. I want to finish it so bad. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin. Wait, so alien tournament arc? You'll need to fight your way to the top to save the I haven't finished one and I really want to. I want to go back and get those last few episodes and start two. To enter each boss fight. You'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay Looks off. Looks familiar. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens. Whoa. Is that a horror so section? I just saw a horror combat. section. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills. Death that glove. And upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. This looks Get awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, I am so excited for this game. I need to finish one. Like, I'm definitely going to finish it on the channel. We're almost done. It would be a shame if I didn't. Exterminate demons in heaven. Okay, this looks like something I'd play, but give me a second. Show me what the deal is here. So below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? Oh my god, he just magicked a gun into his hand. Slay demons with soul co- This suddenly became a lot less- Like, it looks fun. But it suddenly became a lot less interesting. Actually, no, it's a card system in an FPS. Okay, first person, card game, roguelite. Is the feeling I'm getting here. Character designs are kind of weird. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Or burn in hell. The art, the the art style they got going on with this game is really bright and clean. I like it. Uncover heaven's mysteries in neon white. Coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. What? Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. Who? AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and bat hook. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman. The, this is a game for the children. The with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school life. Oh my god. Her proportions are horrific. <laughs> like, I'm all for crazy proportions because I like Phoenix Wright. But that character that was just on screen, like... Oh, yeah, hey, you can take selfies. This does look like a Wii game. Uh -oh. 
This totally looks like an early Wii game where they're like, hey, you can shake the controller a couple times. Just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo. This Switch is like a June DC 4th. version of the SNK heroin thing, but for kids Ready and done really badly. Prepare for battle. I've never played. Is this Plants vs. Zombies? If it is, I've never played a Plants vs. Zombies anything in my entire life. Like, I don't know what the deal with it is. I is this Fortnite? It looks like a Fortnite. This feels like Plants vs. Zombies trying to cash in on Fortnite or something. I don't know what's actually going on. Has some fun designs, though. I'll say that. Wasn't Plants vs. Zombies like a Facebook game originally? Wasn't it a game you could play on like Facebook and it got huge? Oh, I know people who will be excited for this. Band together on a Miitopia to coming to the Switch. Miitopia is a fun little thing. I've seen a bit of gameplay of it. It's kind of funny. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious dark. I've heard like it's a solid RPG too. Like it's not bad, honestly. Glam up your mies and get them I honestly want to try it when it comes out to Switch. I'm not lying. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. There hasn't been much interesting that's gone on, at least for me. There was the Smash announcement for the, the new Smash character, Mito which I'm going to be viewing after because I actually so missed. Quality time with allies but, um, so far it's been nothing but what? games that are very uninteresting to me personally. If your relationship sour though, things might take a turn. This is always the fun part of this game I heard is like, oh, your characters could wind up like hating Whoa. each other. You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle. Venture with friends. I definitely want to give this game a shot. I've I've heard really good things about it. Like it's not like a hardcore JRPG or anything, but orders begin today um, on Nintendo. It looks like fun. All right, show me, show me three houses, five. Items are coming to your island. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Animal Crossing came out, and I think like most people time skipped their way to being done with the game really fast. And I don't know. I, I haven't heard anyone talk about it since its launch. I had a lot of fun with it, but it's I'm still like a bigger Harvest Moon fan. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> Imagine Mario a saves you from the castle and all you want to do is take fixed. selfies. After downloading like, you don't even thank Mario him. You immediately pull out your phone and start taking March selfies. First. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We it was such a cute game, though. Life on your island. Like, I don't regret purchasing Animal Crossing, but it definitely was less involved was than that? I had hoped. These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. I can't wait for Mario. I need it now. We had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. One day I really want to play a Mario game. Next, we have another game to show you.
<gasps> Bayo, is this no? Near? No. What? Is this Octopath Two? I think this might be Octopath Two. I'm guessing every which way. He leaves us no recourse. Swords. Yep. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Maybe not Octopath 2, but in the same art style. You and no other it seems like it's going to be different. It looked like Fire Emblem combat almost for a second, but I can't tell. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power. To it is tactical to RPG. I think it might be Fire Emblem Combat. Triangle strategy. It's totally FE. It's Octopath meets Fire Emblem. Comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. Salt. Iron. The nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. The hostility ceased with an uneasy truce. Decades later, the flames of war threatened to engulf the We needed salt and iron. So there was the Salt Iron War. Fiery web of plots and conspiracies. A brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say. Battle system. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. Okay. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with Oh my god, it is like FF tactics. Okay, if this is the gameplay, I'm probably going to be more interested in this than I was the original Octopath. Because I think the biggest thing that was, like, that made me stop playing Octopath was it's, like, bare-bones combat. Oh! They have flanking! They have directional flanking! Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Oh, it actually... Then electrify the area with light. They have light. terrain types like in Divinity Original Sin. That yeah, looks it fun. Is most important to survey the battlefield before taking action. Is that a zip line? This looks like it's going to be Final Fantasy Tactics on crack. That's we what this looks like. And if that's what it is, will be faced with making important decisions in I will be very interested in this. Utility. Morality, liberty. <laughs> and thus came the utility, morality, liberty war. Conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, art's still fantastic. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Ooh. Use information you've gathered to sway allies But does it matter? Cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Voting system, huh? That sounds interesting. His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down. Yeah, separate series, same art style. That's what I was pretty much getting from it, too. It looks really good. I know it's a working title, but I really want them to just call it Triangle Strategy. See this game next year. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on what? Nintendo eShop. What? Now? And in the future, we'll conduct a survey. There's a demo now? <laughs> we look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all that is really early. You You're right. Takes. 
Calling all hunters. Bloodborne 2? Definitely Bloodborne 2. <laughs> Star Wars Hunters. Oh no, it's a Battle Royale, isn't it? Is this a Star, Star Wars, Wars Battle Hunters Royale? Competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. It's Star Wars Fortnite. I've uncovered it. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. Hmm. <coughs> Blizzard. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews. Take one. Oh, I thought this is a. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons: triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. This is one of those mobile game things. Stuck up in some tower this looks like a mobile game commercial. Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown. I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some. I thought it was Blizzard, but I. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. This looks like a Facebook ad. You're right. Oh no. Oh, this this art style is. Wait, it's a sports game? I hate the big head art style we have on this game. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind playing more like action-y, stylish sports games, but what is, what is with these characters? What is, what is with these 3D rendered characters playing the game? What is going on? What is what is the thing they're trying to pull with this trailer? Like, I am legitimately confused. The fight for survival. Ooh, this looks cute. Hang on tight. Cause you're all going to play a little game Oh my god, it's Donkon Rompa, but the children. Of the Donkon Rompa and Zero Escape series oh. comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme <gasps> park. The 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is cancelled! What? The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with Whoa, suspense. Whoa, this is different. The whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges. This looks very different. Your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch. Mate, I trust the Danganronpa devs. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical Hades. release of Hades. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards. I played Hades. It was pretty good. Physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey. One hour death game other. and the rest is traveling around Japan. That still sounds pretty interesting. The Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb. Known for his work. Hades is fantastic. Like um, I, it, the second it, it's just a good roguelite. That's all I have to say. I don't have anything else. Portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Super, Super Giant, Giant Games is probably one of my favorite indie game developers game ever. They made Transistor, which is one of my favorite games of all time. All their games have been phenomenal. Again, or for the first time. Hades is just Hades, another one of their March hit 19th. games. I highly recommend every one of their games. Three deadly action games. Ooh, Ninja Gaiden. What do we have? Ninja what are you going to show me? Ninja Gaiden Sigma <gasps> it's a collection! 
and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Yes! Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja I've been wanting to play Ninja Gaiden for so long. I am buying this. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set. These games always look so sick. Along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super I've heard they're hard as hell though. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and Wait. game modes, are included. Oh. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Slice I've been wanting to play these games for so long. And I've just never really had them. Now I can. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I've heard these games are pretty neat, but I'm not a huge fan of warrior style games. But still, I look at these games from a distance and I go, these are really cool. Especially since they're trying to do like a prequel here, I think, if I recall. I'm really kept up with it. Yeah, it's a prequel, I think. To Breath of the Wild. Oh, DLC stuff. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Deep oh, yes, 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 yes. Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters. In Bravely Default is my favorite game on the 3DS. I can't wait to play this. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following Wait. this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Bravely Default One has always been a uh, for the first time. Help Arthur and his quest like a, one of three supporting characters. A very debatable thing and a very divisive thing for some people. Like to get the trimming of Bravely Default One, you have to do a bunch of bullshit. You have to do a lot of stupid stuff that you should not have to do to get there. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists. I have never heard anyone talk about the Saga games in my entire life. Protagonist views, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist, Acellus. Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. I don't know how I feel about the art style. Storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free -to -play battle royale How is Apex going to run on the Switch? I don't believe you. Strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players I don't believe you that this game can run on the Switch's hardware. And 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, This game is either going to look Apex very Legends, toned down. Like, how do you keep How's it going the distance? So how do you keep the distance rendering and popping from being a thing in a battle royale? You need that stuff. That is huge. Next, please take a look at this. Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda series. Uh-huh. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Thanks, Zelda now, guy. We'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. What Legend of Zelda game? <gasps> wait! Oh, I never got to play this game! 
Skyward Sword. Yo, I've always wanted to play Skyward Sword. The art style always looks so bright and colorful. I heard the motion controls are actually really good in this game, like they're implemented pretty well. Oh, there's the tongue guy. It's also my favorite Zelda design, honestly. I like this one a lot. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. God, that game's 10 years old. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Aw, oh, slap his belly and with your sword. And we created the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand... Oh my god, if this game's full price, I'm going to actually be upset. To block enemy I will actually be upset. You can perform other actions, like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension... Like, I understand that it took them work to port it over, We've but, like, I think $40 is a fair price. 30 40 around there. ...played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, sixty dollars plus tip. To apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Interesting. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. I like that design. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda. I actually Sword have the Legend of Zelda uh, story in the Legend 2DS. Of Zelda it's probably my favorite design for the 2DS. The I've collected 3DSs. I have a 2DS or Legend of Zelda 2DS. I have a Fire Emblem Fates 3DS. I have a I think a Shin Megami Tensei 3DS. And then I have my 2DS I use for recording the Legend Awakening LP. Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sail cloth Oh yeah, that's right, it's air, stamina. A stamina game and the cloth. As you scaled walls with vines or ramps. I love how they're trying to the sell this game to people. To Right? What they're doing right now is they're like, hey, I know like a lot of you have only played Breath of the Wild, but it's just it's just like the same thing. Look, look, it's the same. Just buy it. <laughs> like that's what they're saying right now. Please look forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Lol, three houses too. What the fuck is this? What? Oh, Splatoon 3. I'll settle for that. I've never played a Splatoon game, but like, damn if I don't like watching this game exist. This looks like Splatoon and like Fallout mixed together.
Is that? Splatoon 3 End of the World Edition. What is going on here? That is like one of the edgiest looking Splatoon characters I've ever seen. Platoon New Vegas. <laughs> okay, they had a really interesting thing going. It's like Splatoon Neo Tokyo is what I'm getting. Ghost in the Shell Splatoon Edition. That was a really lame trailer if that's all they're gonna show. No, here we go. Okay, there's stuff at least. I don't know what's new or not, so no comment. Damn. Well, that was the last announcement. It was Splatoon. What you've just seen is the latest installment with a big ink on her hip. <laughs> Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll wow. be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. I haven't played any of the Splatoon games, but they look like they'd be fun. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Well, that was that. I need to go back and watch the freaking Smash trailer. Because I didn't see that, so hold on. Let's do that. Um, I, while I'm setting this up, I'm going to talk about something that most of you guys should probably hear uh so i've been gone for like the past couple of months because i've had a medicine induced cough and that's why i've mainly just not been creating anything at all um it's been hard to create content when i'm just constantly hacking i'm finally recovering as you can hear i haven't even coughed a single time this whole uh stream but it used to be, like, even when I tried to do even tiny streams, I had to mute the mic constantly to cough, but... And that's hard to do commentary during. Anyways, let's check this out. Here's the announcement that happened right before I got onto the stream. I didn't get to see this. One day... Pyra just disappeared. I cry for all the Xenoblade... <laughs> the Xenoblade fans who thought this is gonna be a second game. Or something, you know? Or I should say Xenoblade 3. I love how they play this off is like it was as if she vanished off the face of all rest without a trace where have you gone I'll find you whatever it takes have I played a Xenoblade game on the channel I have not but um I couldn't tell you because 
I got an invitation to join Smash. I hate her design, like endlessly. People, all the Smash fans are like another sword character. It's just like, yes, let's go. I do like the trailer, though. I like the fact they pulled one. They're like, oh, depressing sequel. Nope. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's like two people. Mithra. Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning Her design's pretty good though. Chroma dust. So they can switch, okay. I thought that was Graviros from Monster Hunter for a second, but I realized it was the weird dragon boat thing. And he's the new stage. Okay. And there's Poppy and then Morag is sick. I love Morag's design. I wish Morag made it in instead. <laughs> oh, there's Shulk from Xenoblade 1. Wait, what do you mean again? Is, is that a spoiler? Wait, what? Is this some sort of mega spoiler between the two games that they're connected? He said again. Um, well, uh, my history with Xenoblade is like, I played Xenoblade 1 a long time ago on the, on the, uh, Wii. Um, and back then I was very closed minded and I was... I, I come from Xenogears, which is my favorite game of all time, which is where this series originates for the PlayStation 1. I love Xenogears to bits. And when I heard Xenoblade was a thing, and I, like everyone told me, there's a new Xeno game, you gotta play it. And I went, okay. And I went out and I ran out and bought it the moment I heard about it. And I went home, and it was not at all what I thought it was going to be. Um, that, was, that was a little disappointing, but I also think it tinted my hint, or tinted my view on what was an otherwise really good game. Um, I only played it for, like, I would say, like, maybe two hours, and this was almost a decade ago. Um, so I really have wanted to give it another shot sometime. You know. Honestly, uh, one of the things I've done through this channel is, over the years of this channel, I've opened up to the idea of, like, liking a lot more things that I haven't liked before. Like, if you talked to me four years ago... Uh, and this, this direct was announced and they were like Splatoon. I'd be like, Splatoon's gross. It's for dumb babies. Like I would have seen this and I would have just been like, oh man, this game sucks. Who cares? Xeno Gears and Xeno Blade are two different series. Uh, yeah, since their names are mainly changed because of, uh, legal issues between the two series. But there's Xenogears, Xenoblade, and Xenosaga, which goes between them. In Xenogears, you play as a character who rides around in a giant mech suit and also does kung fu. It is nothing like the current Xeno games, I'll say. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know? 
it's just I kind of I I kind of want you know it, it feels kind of bad when they just nearly completely abandon something that is part of my childhood personally um and like I'm probably never gonna see it again same with Legend of the Dragoon I don't know if anyone's played that for the PlayStation one but yeah anyways yeah uh, I didn't expect this stream to be this short, honestly. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm going to end it right away or if I'm going to stay around and chat for a bit. I might just do that. But, yeah, I got a lot of fun things coming right around the corner. We have Guilty Gear Strive coming out soon. And other games. You guys can ask any questions you want right now. I'll just be... uh talking to you guys in chat for the moment. It was a pretty okay direct. Yeah, I'll say that. It was an okay direct. It wasn't anything like, oh man, uh, I I hate this. It was bad. Not, they showed nothing good. It, it, it's not like that. I'm going to put on some music while we stream here. Let's put on some instrumental music while I stream. I wish I had like a better screen to show you guys rather than just like my loading screen, but I don't really have much going on. I, I want to get like eventually get like stream splash art. I think that'd be cool to have like a big art of Andromeda to like put as like the you know just talking thing of the stream. That'd be rad. I'll commission that eventually. What are my thoughts on flesh cats? They're cute in their own way. Interested in Famicom, Detective Club, Project Triangle Strategy, and Ninja Gaiden. Same. Those are the ones that kind of really hit my interest in this. I'm curious about that Danganronpa one. The one made by the Danganronpa devs, but I don't really know, like, really what the deal is with it yet, you know? It's kind of a wait-and-see sort of deal. Anyways, uh, I wanted to ask you guys this while we're on stream. So for those of you, maybe even the lurkers who haven't talked any. What, like, what do you like to see on this channel? Like, what is your favorite part of it? Because I'm very much at a point where I've, I've very much come to realize it doesn't really matter what I make. Well, I mean, it does matter, but, you know. I don't have to, like, shove myself into a niche as hard as I kind of felt like I was. So I'm curious, what kind of things do you guys like to see on this channel? Do you like some of the more, like, long-form videos? Like the, um... Like the Shin Megami Tensei video I did? Or do you like the LPs that I do, specifically of certain genres? I I'm legitimately curious. I'm probably gonna create an actual video asking this question as my next video before I get back to making content, because I'm, like, I'm always curious what people are into. play random games that you're interested to try. I'm thinking of doing that over the next couple of weeks, honestly. I have a lot of games in my Steam library that I wanted to touch upon, and I think that's going to be my plan for the week. Uh, the next week or two is just playing these random games in my Steam library and on my Switch and on my PS4 that I've always wanted to, uh... You know touch upon anyways thank you guys for watching the stream i think i'm gonna head out now and get some food uh it's good to be back and good to finally be able to talk through my <laughs> throat i never thought i'd appreciate my ability to actually do youtube this much and to give commentary and interact with you guys but as someone who hasn't been able to talk for upwards of you know a month without like coughing usually uh it's nice to be able to 
See you guys later. Riding out.